A very good morning, everyone. I am Gulapsa, your mentor, and I welcome you all to the session called RBI 247. In today's video, we'll discuss important finance related current affairs, and based on the news, we'll solve certain questions after that. But before getting started, if you have not downloaded our app, please do so as you'll get all these features in our app any exam related updates, live video sessions top of strategies and even past year papers, all of these will be available on our app anujindal.in. So let's get started. So the first question on the screen says, recently RBI lifted the restrictions on which of the following global card network and allowed it to onboard new domestic customers after it demonstrated satisfactory compliance with RBI's circular on storage of payment system data right and the options given to us are mastercard just one second guys yes mastercard visa american express rupee and diners club now the correct answer to this question is a mastercard and if you are following the news and going regularly through the rbi website then on 16th of June 2022, RBI issued a direction whereby it stated that it has lifted the restrictions. It has lifted the restrictions that was imposed on the global card network MasterCard and it has now allowed MasterCard to onboard new domestic customers as it has demonstrated satisfactory compliance with the RBI circular on storage of payment system data. So in the year 2018, in the year 2018 and in the month of April, RBI had issued certain directions as regard to storage of payment system data. As you know, any type of data related to payments such as complete transactions, your details, or any other thing, the amount, the bank account, the transaction you are doing, the merchant at which you are doing the transactions, all these data are increasing day by day. And, and especially with the digital transactions being undertaken, these transactions have increased enormously. If transactions are increasing, right, it is good for the economy. But with, as we say, with power comes responsibility, right? So as these transactions are increasing, there are concerns for security as well. So RBI had mandated that all these payment network providers to store such payment system data in a system that is in India only. That is, such data should not cross borders, right? So this was the guidelines that RBI had issued in the year 2018 month April. So certain there, there are five payment service providers in India, right? Out of which some follow the guidelines. However, MasterCard did not follow the guidelines and thereby RBI had banned MasterCard to onboard any new domestic customers on it, right? So for the past 11 months, that is from July 2021, July 2021, MasterCard was banned from onboarding any new domestic customers. That is, they were not allowed to issue any new cards, be it debit card or credit card or you can see the prepaid cards. What are these prepaid cards? So prepaid cards are like your metro cards. As you know, in, a, in our metro card, we first do the recharge. There are certain value that is stored in the card itself. So that is known as prepaid cards. You can also consider it as your wallet, the Paytm wallet or your Amazon wallet, right? So the payment is stored in that card. If you are getting that card, that is known as the prepaid card. So if so, when the restrictions was uh, imposed on MasterCard, MasterCard was not allowed to issue any of these cards, be it, uh, be it the debit card, the credit card or the prepaid payment card, right? Because it had not complied with the directions that RBI had issued in 2018, right? But now in the year 2022, after 11 months since the restriction was imposed, MasterCard has finally complied with the satisfactory regulation. It has complied satisfactorily and now RBI has lifted the restrictions 
देर बाय मास्टर के नाउ मास्टर कार्ड के नाउ इशू न्यू कार्ड एंड इट कैन ऑन बोर्ड न्यू डोमेस्टिक कस्टमर्स राइट सो दिस वॉज द न्यूज दैट आर बी आई हैड मैं ऑन इट्स वेबसाइट ना मूविंग फॉरवर्ड so as i have already explained so in july 2021 july 2021 rbi had restricted mastercard from onboarding any new domestic customers right and due to its failure to comply with those restrict with those data localization norms what is this data localization norms the direction that was issued by rbi to store the data the payment system data the entire payment system data in a system in india itself such data should not be transferred or should not be given to any other agencies or any other entities outside india right and that was issued in the rbi circular on storage of payment system data dated april 2018 theek hai to mastercard ne is uh, इस डायरेक्शन को फॉलो नहीं किया था दैट्स वाई द रिस्ट्रिक्शन वॉज इम्पोज ऑन मास्टर कार्ड मूविंग फॉरवर्ड हु ऑल वेर दी अदर पेमेंट नेटवर्क दैट डिड नॉट फॉलो द डायरेक्शन ऑन पेमेंट डेटा स्टोरेज सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम मास्टर कार्ड देर वेर डाइनर्स क्लब एज वेल एज द अमेरिकन एक्सप्रेस हाव एवर सब्सिक्वेंटली आरबीआई आरबीआई रिमूव uh remove the restrictions on diner club however it did not lift the ban on american express right so five three out of five did not comply with the restrictions with the directions that rbi has had issued in the year 2018 however subsequently diners club uh diner clubs were allowed to resume the issuing of cards however american express did not comply fully as per the satisfaction of rbi and therefore the ban was not lifted from american express so this was in the news moving forward why were the restrictions on mastercard issued as we've already discussed the directions it did not follow that is the entire payment data from india should be stored in a system only in india and what are these data data such as complete end to end transaction details any information collected carried or processed as part of the message or payment instruction all of these data should not cross borders so this was the guidelines that rbi had issued in the year 2018 moving forward now these guidelines were applicable to the system payment system providers these guidelines were applicable to the payment system providers such as mastercard visa rupee american express and diners club as all those payment providers that were authorized by rbi to set up and operate such payment services such payment system in india under the payment and settlement act of 2007 so is cheez ko yaad rakhna ye exam mein question aa sakta hai that payment system providers function under which act of under which act so the correct answer would be payment and settlement system act of 2007 rbi payment and settlement system act of 2007 so iske under payment system providers are authorized to set up and operate such payment system in india right and why rbi issued the guidelines so the guidelines were issued in order to ensure better monitoring as the, as the amount of transactions were increasing also these transactions were highly dependent on technology everything was online right so it was highly technology dependent and there was a considerable growth in the payment ecosystem in the country so in order to monitor the transactions it was advised it was mandated by rbi that these payment service networks should store the data in india itself now what are this payment network we are talking about mastercard visa and diners club and even discover right so what are this so talking about the payment system network it basically acts as a bridge between the card issuing company so we have the card issuing company and the merchant so whenever you go for shopping 
you know then those uh, shop owners are known as the merchants they have something called the pos machine right jahan pe hum apni card swipe karte hain and then we have the card issuers who are the card issuers card issuers are those who issue cards that is bank non banks non banks means nbfcs so banks and non banks issue cards and then we have the merchants jahan pe hum swipe karte hain pos machine mein whenever we shop right so now the payment network like these cards they act as the bridge the payment network act as a bridge between the card issuing company and the merchants right they act as a bridge and any type of transaction suppose you have swiped your machine here at the merchant store now the the, the information that the data that is being stored is processed and sent to the the payment network and what are these payment networks these are the payment networks right so ye jo transaction hai jo transaction jab aapne swipe kiya to uski details payment network ke paas chali jati hai this payment networks ask the card issuing company for authorization of the payment agar yahan se yes ho jata hai tabhi your payment is successful here now the entire thing seems very clumsy but aisa nahi hai aap dekhoge ki within a second this transaction gets completed however this is the mechanism behind this transaction getting successful so the act as a payment network thereby they facilitate the act as a bridge between the card issuing company and the merchant and the merchant whereby they authorize to make the payment a card issuer company ka role kya hai yahan pe they issue the card they look at the financials kitne amount debit karna hai nahi karna hai this card networks provides the technology through which the transaction get uh done right the transaction get successful so they provide the technology and they look after the financials so card issuing company looks after the financials and the payment networks looks after the technology i hope this is clear to you the mechanism of the payment network is clear to you in india there are five operating networks out of which inka to abhi tak american express ko uh, they cannot on board new domestic customers as of now however the ban which was lift that was imposed on mastercard has now been removed now new customers can be on boarded by mastercard that is they can issue new cards they can issue cards to new customers as well i hope this is clear to you now moving forward to the next question the question says which of the following bank which of the following bank recently signed an mou that is a memorandum of understanding with 100x vc now don't get confused 100x vc is basically a venture capitalist firm the name is 100x vc to support the startups community now we need to answer ki ek mou signed hua hai recently it is between 100x venture capital firm and a bank a private bank so which of the following is that bank the options are a icici bank state bank of india hdfc bank axis bank and union bank of india so the correct answer to this question is c hdfc bank so um, mou that is a memorandum of understanding it is basically a document right a mou aap sabko pata hoga ek document hai jahan pe dono parties agree karte hain kuch cheezon ke liye so an mou has been signed between the bank and the venture capitalist firm वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट का मतलब वो होता है वेर बाय हाई नेटवर्थ इंडिविजुअल्स और कंपनीज इन्वेस्ट या मनी इन टू अ न्यू स्टार्टअप तो ये जो हंड्रेड एक्स बी सी है ये एक अर्ली स्टेज वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट फॉर्म है जहाँ पे कुछ लोगों ने अपने पैसे इन्वेस्ट किए हुए हैं एंड देर बाय दे टेक द रिस्क दे ऑल्सो बियर द रिस्क इफ दे आर बियरिंग द प्रॉफिट दे ऑल्सो बियर द रिस्क इन दैट स्टार्टअप और फॉर्म तो मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू द न्यूज so the news was the hdfc bank the hdfc bank has signed an mou the hdfc bank has signed an mou mou with 100x.vc uh, firm and the under the mou so both of them will see the benefit right if if an mou is signed it, it is basically to have a collaborative collaborative arrangement whereby both are mutually benefited 
So under the MOU, under the agreement, HDFC Bank will extend its Smart Up initiative. So there is an initiative by HDFC Bank, which is known as the Smart Up initiative. So HDFC Bank will extend this benefit, this initiative to the firm which are associated with 100x.vc. So in agreement ke under HDFC Bank, apna jo initiative has Smart Up initiative, it will extend it to the firms associated with the venture capital 100x.vc. Now, what is this Smart Up initiative? So, this Smart Up initiative stands for a smart solution, smart, a smart solution for your startup, and hence the name Smart Up, right? So, it is an initiative of HDFC Bank whereby the HDFC Bank will provide certain benefits. Certain, certain benefits, certain decent benefits such as providing loans or try or opening your current account at decent rates, right? So it will provide all these benefits in order to build an ecosystem, in order to build, nurture and grow startups, an ecosystem of st startups. So it is basically to support the startup community. HDFC has come up with an initiative known as the Smart Up Initiative, right? And through this initiative, HDFC will provide smart financial tools such as Smart Up Alpha, Smart Up Max, Smart Up Growth. These are current accounts, the types of current accounts under the scheme, under the initiative Smart Up, whereby it, it is trying to build an, an ecosystem, an ecosystem of startups so that they are able to grow, nurture, and be a and be and be a successful start up a successful enterprise in the long run, right? So smart advisory services such as business and legal services, public relations, digital marketing services and technology such as providing tax and compliance services as well as co-working spaces to the newly, to the newly startups so that they are able to nurture themselves in order to grow by using the innovation as well as in order to in order to provide entrepreneurial entrepreneurial attitude amongst the individuals so this is the smart up initiative of hdfc bank i hope this is clear to you so what else is there under the arrangement so under the arrangement the hdfc bank will also extend additional credit facilities and it will also evaluate any prospects for investment opportunities in these startups so jobi startups honge unko loan facility provide karegi hdfc bank and it will also see whether there are opportunities of any investment in these startups i hope this is clear to you moving forward so as i have already mentioned they are coming together, that is HDFC and 100x.bc. They will work together in a collaborative manner in order to have mutually beneficial areas, right? So what will the venture capital firm do? So under the initiative, under the MOU, the, ven the venture capital firm, that is 100x.bc, will recommend the HDFC bank as the primary bank for all its investee companies. So, jitne bhi investi companies associated honge is venture capital firm se, un sab ko wo HDFC bank ko recommend karega to be their primary bank for any type of transactions. So, is, is way, in this way, HDFC bank will get more customers, right? Yaan se kya hoga? What is the benefit of such an initiative of such an MOU? To iske through more customers milega customer acquisition hoga hdfc bank ke liye right and hdfc bank in turn will evaluate the startups and it will see whether there are opportunities for investment and apart from that it will also extend loans to these startups right ab inko credit facility mil jayegi funds mil jayega right the venture capital the startups under these venture capital will get funds and HDFC will get will get customers. So, ye mutual relationship ki baat kar rahe, mutual beneficial areas is cheese ki yaha pe baat ki ja rahi hai, right? Customers and there they will get funds. I hope this is clear to you. Moving forward.
right uh so what is the objective behind this mou so behind this mou the objective the primary objective or its intent is basically to enhance the startup ecosystem jo hamara ecosystem hai startup ka as we know that the startups are increasing day by day agar aap dekhoge to there are certain there are so many unicorns right so in order to enhance the startup ecosystem in india by supporting innovation in entrepreneurship hdfc bank is collaborating with 100x vc aur iske alawa is mou mein inhone ye bhi bataya hai that they are going to take special master classes for these startups wo jointly conduct karenge master classes joint programs known as the master classes for these startups so that any industrial experience or any type of uh, knowledge that they can share with these startups so that it is beneficial in their journey of uh, being a startup and who all are the signatories to this mou so the mou was signed between mr abhishek deshmukh who is the branch banking head maharashtra and mr yagnesh sangha sang rajka founder and cfo of 100x dot vc so signatories ke naam yaad rakhna important nahi hai is just for you aap ek bar read kar lo so that it's there in your mind right so yahi hai i hope this is clear to you the mou that was signed between hdfc bank and 100x dot vc what was the purpose of the mou to support the startup community in india i hope this will be clear to you and you will keep this in mind moving forward so the next question says which of the following insurance company has launched an out of network health insurance cash advance facility now this is an important question and a beautiful question because kuch alag sa hai what is this out of network health insurance cash advance facility aur inme se kaun se insurance company hai jisne ye facility ya ye scheme launch ki hai right the options are a new india general insurance adelvis general insurance egi icici lombard general insurance car care health insurance or echo general insurance तो यहाँ पे गैस करना मुश्किल हो जाएगा नाम सो लेट मी टेल यू दी आंसर द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज पी एडलविस जनरल इंश्योरेंस ई जी आई तो ई जी आई इज द इंश्योरेंस कंपनी दर हेज लॉन्च एन आउट ऑफ नेटवर्क हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस कैश एडवांस फैसिलिटी तो यहां से ये क्लियर है कि कुछ एडवांसेस दिए जाएंगे राइट एंड इट इज आउट ऑफ नेटवर्क so usually kya hota hai if you get sick right to so, aapke dimag mein what is the need of the r the need of the r is to visit the nearest hospital and aap us time ye nahi dikhte ki wo hospital uh, aap aapne jo insurance health insurance liya hai uske andar registered hai ya uske panel mein aata hai ki nahi aata hai you just want to go to the nearest hospital so that you are cured at time so the treatment starts as soon as possible right so in that case जो भी एक्सपेंसेस होते हैं ऑल द मेडिकल एक्सपेंसेस दैट हैपेंस वी आर नॉट एलिजिबल हमको वी आर नॉट एलिजिबल फॉर द एक्स टू गेट री इम्बर्स फॉर दैट एक्सपेंसेस बिकॉज दैट पर्टिकुलर हॉस्पिटल इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ द इंश्योरेंस व्हिच यू हैव टेकन आपने जो इंश्योरेंस लिया है उसके अंदर वो हॉस्पिटल कवर्ड नहीं है राइट सो इन ऑर्डर टू टैकल दिस ये प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करने के लिए ईजीआई दैट इज एडलविस जनरल इंश्योरेंस has come up with a scheme whereby it says that it is going to provide you a facility so that an advance facility so that uh, even if the hospital is not covered under the scheme under the general insurance under the health insurance you are still entitled to a certain part of benefit to a certain reimbursement to a certain advance amount aapko kuch aapka kuch had tak expenses एडवांसेस के थ्रू आपको दे दिए जाएंगे जो बाद में जब जब भी आप उसका क्लेम लोगे उससे डिडक्ट कर दी जाएगी तो दिस इज द स्कीम विच ई जी आई एडलविस जनरल इंश्योरेंस हैज लॉन्च राइट सो दिस इज द स्कीम दैट एडलविस जनरल इंश्योरेंस हैज लॉन्च विच इज नॉन एज आउट ऑफ नेटवर्क आउट ऑफ नेटवर्क मतलब उस इंश्योरेंस उस इंश्योरेंस स्कीम के अंदर उस हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस के अंदर आता नहीं है 
हॉस्पिटल कवर्ड नहीं है इट इज आउट ऑफ द नेटवर्क ऑफ द इंश्योरेंस दैट यू हैव टेकन राइट एंड कैश एडवांस यू विल बी गेटिंग सर्टेन कैश एडवांसेस एडवांसेस लोन राइट अ टाइप ऑफ लोन तो एक कैश इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कैश आपको ये बेनिफिट मिलेगा राइट सो which which insurance company it is so it is edelweiss general insurance company one mark question ban sakta hai so please keep the keep the same in mind right and it has launched the out of network cash advance facility kya hai iske andar that it is going to help the customers with monetary support at any hospital agar wo hospital register hai bhi ya nahi bhi hai you are going to get monetary support That is not part of the EGI network. अगर वो हॉस्पिटल EGI network के अंदर नहीं भी आता, still you are going to get the help, still you are going to get the monetary support under this scheme known as the out of network health insurance cash advance facility. Right? Moving forward, उससे पहले let us see one question. Now the question says. In the recent out-of-network health insurance cash advance facilities that was launched by EGI, what is the maximum advance that is granted to customers at hospital that is not part of the EGI's network? The options are five thousand, ten thousand, fifteen, twenty, or twenty-five thousand. अब हमने ये तो डिस्कस कर लिया कि अगर कोई हॉस्पिटल EGI नेटवर्क के अंदर रजिस्टर्ड नहीं है देन ऑल्सो यू कैन यू विल बी गेटिंग एन एडवांस फैसिलिटी नाउ व्हाट इज द मैक्सिमम अमाउंट आपको कितना एडवांस फैसिलिटी मिलेगा सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी रुपीस टेन थाउजेंड अप टू रुपीस टेन थाउजेंड यू विल बी गेटिंग द एडवांस फैसिलिटी अंडर द स्कीम ऑफ EGI, राइट मूविंग फॉरवर्ड सी वॉट वॉज देयर इन द न्यूज सो यूजली यही बताया गया है कि जो भी पॉलिसी होल्डर्स होते हैं health insurance ke they are required to pay out of their own pocket in order to avail treatment at non network hospitals jab bhi aap non network hospitals mein jate ho you need to pay from your own pocket aapko khud se pay karna padta hai kyunki wo covered nahi hota us insurance scheme ke andar right however under the scheme that has been launched customers will receive money up to rupees 10000 so this is the limit is limit ko yaad rakhna zaruri hai right the name of the insurance company which has launched the scheme that is egi edelweiss general insurance and what is the amount it is rupees 10000 the facility the advance facility and remember it will be in cash the cash advance facility is available up to rupees 10000 in order to take care of the charges such as your admission charges or any other expenses that happens during hospitalization और इसके बाकायदा पूरा एक प्रोसीजर है यू नीड टू फॉलो द प्रोसीजर इन ऑर्डर टू अवेल दिस अमाउंट आई वी टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्रोसीजर एज वेल इन द कमिंग स्लाइड्स एंड द एडवांस दैट यू रिसीव नाउ दैट सपोज अगर आपको दस हजार रिसीव होता है इट विल बी एडजस्टेड एट द टाइम ऑफ टेकिंग द क्लेम जब भी आप क्लेम लोगे उसमें से वो डिडक्ट कर दिया जाएगा सो so, आज आपको वो टेन मिल जाएगा बट एट अ लेटर स्टेज वेन द क्लेम विल बी सेटल जब आपका इंश्योरेंस का क्लेम सेटल होगा उस टाइम उसको एडजस्ट कर दिया जाएगा आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू ना मूविंग फॉरवर्ड व्हाट एल्स सो व्हाई डिड ईजीआई व्हाई ईजीआई स्टार्टेड विद द स्कीम क्यों आया वो स्कीम क्यों लेकर आया राइट सो व्हाट हैपेन वाज ईजीआई हैड कंडक्टेड अ रिसर्च उन्होंने एक रिसर्च कंडक्ट किया था एंड इट वाज अ क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च एंड इट वाज कंडक्टेड अक्रॉस फोर सिटीज दैट इज इन मुंबई दिल्ली बेंगलुरु एंड कोलकाता तो फोर सिटीज में इन्होंने ये रिसर्च कंडक्ट कराया था ए क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च दे वांटेड टू अंडरस्टैंड कि व्हाट इज द मेजर पेन पॉइंट जब इंसान हॉस्पिटलाइज होता है या फिर इन केस ऑफ एनी मेडिकल इमरजेंसी मेजर पेन पॉइंट्स क्या होते हैं व्हेन डज अ कस्टमर सफर्स द मोस्ट एट टाइम्स ऑफ हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन तो उन्होंने ये देखा the the findings, what were the findings? The findings what were revealed that the customers are demanding real cashless benefit. उनको reimbursements नहीं चाहिए उनको at that moment when they are hospitalized, they want real cashless benefits. benefits such as the facility of having cash at that time. मतलब ऐसा नहीं कि पहले आप apply करोगे insurance के लिए फिर आपको मिलेगा या फिर you are waiting for some time or you are going to the registered hospital in order to avail the facility aisa kuch nahi hai so in order to avail in order to provide this facility 
EGI as per its report has come up with this facility known as out of network health insurance cash advance facility. I hope this is clear to you. So what is the procedure? Procedure kya hai? What steps do we need to follow in order to avail this facility? First, first, first case is the person will be admitted to the nearest hospital, any nearest hospital. Koi bhi hospital chale ga, right? It need not be of EGI's network only. Now, after the person is hospitalized, you need to intimate, you need to provide this information. EGI ko kaise pata chale ga that you have been admitted. So you need to intimate the information, you need to communicate, convey it to the EGI's customer care team on their toll-free number. Ye number hai unka. You need to call over this number so that you can convey them that yes, the person is hospitalized and then you have to select option 2. When you call number, call karoge, jab hum, suppose we uh, mobile, pe bhi karte hai, there are certain uh, things that we need to click, right? So you need to click option 2 and then you need to share all the medical details of the case. Jobhi details hai, wo aapko explain karna padega. Now, the EGI's claim team, jo claim team maha pe baiti hogi, they will get into action immediately and will connect with the hospital. So there is a team that EGI has already uh, set up. So this team will get active and it will immediately connect with the hospital jaha pe the person is hospitalized. And depending on the case, Jaisa bhi case hoga, if it's very severe, the maximum amount of rupees 10,000. If it's very normal, then you can get maximum up to rupees 10,000. It can be any amount lower than that also, right? The EGI will endeavor to provide cash advance facility for the admissible claims. So I hope this was clear to you, right? In case of any doubt, you can write it down in the comment section. And in case if you need a free PDF of today's session, you can get it by joining our Telegram group. The link of the Telegram group is there in the description, right? So any free PDFs are uploaded out there. So please go and check it out. So this was all for today. I hope you like the session. Thank you.